Hello everyone, in this video we're going to have a look at a new module for Game Creator 1, Crafting. So if you're already in your Game Creator 1 project quite far along, but you saw all of these new uh, amazing crafting capabilities in Game Creator 2, um, there's actually a solution now. So there's a new crafting module which uses the inventory module, so it's kind of like an extension. Um, which allows for a lot of new crafting options. However, it's not just the crafting, it's also, um, you know, the, the, the pickup, the UI stuff, just going to pick up everything. Um, dismantling, uh, it's just so much more. I really like the, the little UI touches as well. Okay, let's just pick up a bunch of stuff. There we go, pick up more. Awesome. Um, okay a bunch of crafting stuff uh, take all yay there we go um we have the workshop so if you've um tried um inventory 2 or you've uh, at least seen a video about it then um you've seen you know all of these new crafting options now, one of the nice things here is that um, now you have proper crafting, which was, let's be real, really limited in Game Creator uh, 1 with Inventory 1. Um, and now you can craft, um, to, well, to your heart's content. In a bit, I'll show you um, how it's set up as well with the preferences. Um, but yeah, okay, we craft, can craft multiple items at the same time. Love the little indications as well. Um, if you've been using inventory one for a while, you know the limitations around crafting. So this is a awesome, awesome upgrade. Um, got the little crafting time as well. UI pop-ups, um, all nice. Obviously, when it comes to the UI, you know, customize it to fit your game. Um, but it's nice that all of these events are already in place. Um, we can dismantle stuff as well. So we just had that um, item can select multiple ones while well, we don't have multiple ones. Um, we just dismantle it and we get all of these um, items back. Well, as you can see, we didn't get everything back. So um, it's really nice that it actually costs more um, to craft it than dismantle it. Um, crafting without recipe. Uh -huh. Okay. This is, <laughs> this is pretty cool. Um, not really sure what it's going to do. Oh, we can just, oh, that's actually really awesome. Can just throw a bunch of stuff in and see what happens. Um, okay, let's just throw a bunch of stuff in. And it will then randomly do something. That's so cool. Wow, okay. That's really cool. That's a really nice touch. Um, and then we have uh, potion making. Um, well, as you can see, need to create a bunch of stuff as well and we have these stations now if you've played Hogwarts Legacy um, which I have this will seem really familiar to you because um, you have the posing uh, oh, we don't have enough materials you have the posing stations and then you can add this is really nice clearly sure the creator played some <coughs> uh, Hogwarts Legacy unless this is actually incredibly common in all the other games <laughs> I just never really saw it this way before um, but yeah, that's that's really cool. So, um, you know, the examples speak for themselves. Uh, I'm really happy that we have all of these uh, tables ready to show what we can do. Um, you know, basically we have everything. We have the potion crafting, um, randomized crafting, which I think is really cool. Um, workshop dismantling, all of the all of the basics. Um, I like the really uh, all of the new UI. Uh, events as well and again it's not really so much about the looks you know you can change the looks to whatever you want um, it's about all of the events uh, being in place so if we have a look at inventory um, you know you'll see these new items if you've installed the examples um, but one of the new things here is craftable um, for one nice that it's actually a uh, a check mark um, you know, not everything should be craftable uh, for one. Um, and then here, when it comes to uh, the recipe, um, you know, that's up to you. You create the recipe and you just, you know, add a bunch of stuff. So this is where uh, inventory one, um, which we still have 
not really sure if this still works. I don't want to mess around with it. Anyway, well, let's just do it. Um, this was the limitation um, <laughs> with Game Creator uh, 1 inventory. Uh, you could, you know, craft by combining two items and that was pretty much it. So yeah, let's get rid of that. Um, so yeah, not really that interesting. Um, really happy that it's actually on the item as well. Just keeps it easier to organize things in my opinion. Um, and yeah, you can just add how many, uh, how much of each is needed in a really, really simple way. I'm actually really happy with that. Um, you know, when it comes to upgrading items, um, you know, it's going to be the same thing. Um, you know, if I think it was in Skyrim where you had a iron sword, you could upgrade it to a metal sword, but you needed the iron sword plus some metal, blah, blah, blah. Um, same thing, you can just create a new station just for that, for upgrading items. Which I think is just really really cool um, so yeah really awesome uh, really awesome stuff here so if we're going to have a look at um, you know the for first of all these prefabs um, for the items um, what's new so obviously we have a um, you know the, the visual stuff and we have our trigger um, we have the canvas for um, picking it up and then if we actually um, interact so if we actually um, oh sorry 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 um, if we actually uh, interact with the item we see this new um, this new action so if we have a look in uh, crafting here um, we will see a bunch of new uh, new items as well so um, you know add item uh, the crafting item obviously um, it's nice that you can select who it goes to as well in case it needs to go to someone else and then the amounts. So we've got a bunch of new uh, bunch of new actions. Um, let's have a look at um, the station, which obviously is uh, the workshop. Um, same thing here. So we have the, the, the canvas uh, action and then we have uh, our trigger. So once you press, some, uh, press something, it's going to open up uh, the UI. And then if we have a look at the UI, let's just open it up for a moment. Um, Cause again, it's a lot of UI stuff going on here as well. Um, you'll see that um, it will populate um, whatever you have. So similar to how, um, how Game Creator uh, Inventory 1 does that, sorry. And if we can have a look at the button, I want to, yeah, there we go. Um, if we have a look at uh, the button here, um, it's going to cause some conditions and this is where um, you know the UI action comes into place um, so um, it's going to uh, do a bunch of stuff but basically the most important thing is the crafting which is tied to a variable so definitely have a look at how this works um, but yeah again this is um, really cool stuff it's been a while since I've actually really actively been using game creator one um, so it's really nice to see that um, we still have stuff being developed for it. And this, in my opinion, really alleviates the biggest um, biggest issue with the first inventory module. Because yeah, in my opinion, the first inventory module um, was actually pretty good and you could do a lot more with it um, than people realized. Uh, it just required a lot of extra effort um, and it wasn't that straightforward. Um, bunch of tutorials as well to expand on uh, some of its features by changing a couple of lines of codes. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I created attachments the whole lot. However, crafting, that was simply something that couldn't be expanded upon without proper coding. Um, so yeah, really happy to see this. So would definitely recommend everyone that is currently using Game Creator 1 and Inventory 1 uh, for an RPG. Um, you know, get this one. It just makes life much simpler. Um, use these prefabs because they're pretty much all you need for pretty much any type of RPG when it comes to stuff like this. Um, change the model and you're pretty much set. So yeah, really great module. Um, really nice to see that more of this is coming for Game Creator 1. Um, so yeah, really, really exciting. So um, that's it for this video, everyone. Just wanted to show you a quick look at this. Um, as I think it's really cool that uh, Game Creator 1, uh, as of today, is still getting uh, new modules. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.